Hey you guys, it's Lacey. So I'm bringing you another house building video today. Um, this house is called Gardenia Way and it's a beautiful house, you guys. It's huge. Um, I guess I've been in sort of like a um, like big house fix lately for some reason. I don't know why, but I've been making a lot of big houses lately. So um, I do move, uh, ch move this house to a bigger lot. So you'll see the lot the lot size change here in a minute um, because it's just not big enough so um, here in a minute I'm about to move it to a different lot um, I do cut that part out so you'll just yep there you just see it change all of a sudden to a bigger lot um, I put this on the same lot that I built um, oh what house did I build on this lot now I can't remember it was one of my more recent ones I don't know but yeah so um, this house is really awesome you guys I really like the way it turns out um, uh, it took me a while to figure out what color or like the colors I wanted to use on the outside and like I go through like a bunch I don't know but it turns out really good so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you guys like it if you guys don't like it I don't know so I really like it um, it's kind of, it's like a craftsman style house. Um, I definitely like to build um, craftsman styles. I like the roofs on craftsmen. So, um, yeah, this one is definitely craftsman. Um, but, yeah, so I put um, this porch on the bottom. And it takes me a while to figure out what columns I want to use. But I think I get it figured out pretty well in the end as far as the columns that I use um, I think go really well with it so I wanted I like I wish they had more choices for um, columns either that or let us have constrained floor elevation already because yeah um, I definitely need like half walls like yeah half walls or constrained floor elevation because that would just be like the best anyway so um the roofing in this house does take me a while because i wanted it to be very like um intricate and i wanted it to be like like a like uh oh i don't know yeah i don't even know what word to use but i wanted it to be very like detailed so it takes me forever <laughs> this house took me a while to build too i don't know why it took me so long to build that will change too by the way yep I just make the staircase longer um, this is the back porch it's just kinda like a little small porch uh, not nothing too big um, yeah it's 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 a cute yeah I changed I'm pretty sure I changed that yeah I'm pretty sure I changed that I leave that for now but I know I change it and um, that area right there changes too. But um, yeah, this house I really like it. I really like the roofing, uh, how it how it turned out, and I really I don't know. I just really like the interior. Um, like the layout is really neat. So yeah, I really like it. But yeah, the roofing does take me a while because there's so many pieces to it. Like. I don't even know there's got to be like 12 to 15 pieces of roofing on this house maybe even more maybe like almost 20 pieces of roofing on this house it's crazy crazy so um, I do end up bringing this part out because see how like that part of the roof shows through right there like there's no way that I could get it to where it didn't show through um, so I had to bring that back a little bit like that and actually I think I yeah I think I leave it like that right there yeah I do okay but and I make the roof uh, like a like a brown color and then yeah I add this little piece right here um, and I wanted to put windows all around that piece right there I really love that idea I was thinking about making the roof, uh, the roof 
overlay a little bit, but I couldn't really, I don't know. I didn't really like that too much, so oh well. So now I'm going in and putting all the roof trim around the whole house. Um, I use a white roof trim. And here's the windows that I'm putting in. Um, I didn't really know what windows I wanted to put around the bottom, but I knew I wanted there to be, yeah, I. those are the ones I end up using. But I love this little area. I don't know, I didn't really know what to do with it in the house, <laughs> to be honest. So you'll see that I end up just making that little area, just like I put an art easel in there and some paintings on the floor, and I make it just like a little, a little like, uh, yeah, like a little area where they can paint. I figured it might be a good like little inspiration room or something. It's just a very tiny area, so that's what I end up doing with that. And I really love the windows in this house. There's a lot of windows in this house, you guys, like a ton. But I wanted it to be that way. I didn't want it to be like... Um, super modern or anything but at the same time I wanted it to have a ton of windows so so there is that and there's another piece of roofing that I added in so that just adds to the roofing and yeah all the windows almost all the windows in this house are the same most of them there's like um one two three four five there's five different windows in this house, but um, most of them are, are this one that I'm putting in right now. Most of them are this one, so. Um, there's only a few of the other ones, so. Oh, and, the, and another roof piece that I put in. So yeah, it's just, it's just adding up and adding up. Uh, and then I realize that I'm putting the wrong window in and I have to go in and delete all these windows that I put in. And I'm like, oh, crap, I used the wrong window. I gotta go in and delete them. So, yeah. Because I wanted it to be the same windows um, for the most part. And I'm putting in a back door um, with some more windows, of course. So that's the basic, um, the general look of things right there. Um, I do end up changing, like I end up putting like a white color on that little part right there with all the windows, um, but I do change that to a more tan color to blend in with the colors of the house a little bit better. And I do change that roofing, I don't, or um, not the actual roofing, but the wallpaper that I put on the roof parts right there I do change that I don't like the way that looks so I end up putting siding on it um, and I start off with this like tan um, tan colored siding right here which I do end up changing I don't like that either so you will see that change I think it just looks too plain I guess with that tan colored siding but um, I think I end up choosing like a more of like a green color, like a darker green colored siding. So, so yeah, this is what it looks like originally, but I do end up changing it. Um, just a couple things that I end up changing. Now I'm putting all the um, wallpaper on the foundation. Now I'm like, ooh, I don't really like this color. So, um, is, is that the one I end up choosing? Yeah, I think that's the one I end up choosing. Is that green? Because to me right now, looking at it, it looks kind of like a burnt orange color. I thought I used green. Oh well, it's burnt orange, I guess. So then I experiment a few times with um, this and I try to put like that brick, see if how it looks, which I don't really like how that looks either. So I, yeah, I end up using like a tan colored wallpaper. Yeah, it's just like, I didn't know, I, w I knew I wanted it to be different than the rest of the house, but yeah, so there you go. All right, now I'm gonna go into the gardening, of course, and I really love the gardening in this house, you guys. It's so 
cute. Like, I love it. It has a, it has a quite a bit more gardening than, some, than most of my other houses. Um, most of my other houses are just like a few pieces here and there. Um, this one has quite a bit more. But I really like it. I think it turns out really good in the end. And I really like that idea that I used in my last build um, of putting the rocks all the way around like that. I really like that idea, so I use that again in this house. Don't worry, you guys, I won't use it in every single one of my houses. Maybe a lot, but not every single one. Okay, here is um, just another little um, patch of flowers and gardening around this tree here and then I decide to go all the way around with the rocks with this which it looks like it goes a lot faster in this video but it does, it takes quite a while you guys I bet that part well no I mean really it only takes a few minutes really but it seems like it takes longer you know because you're like oh just finish already but um, then I put in some more trees on this side. Um, I try to leave this side kind of like um, more natural looking. Then in the back here, I'm going to put some more. Um, I do put this tree here. I'm thinking that this tree um, disappears when I save this lot. Because... When I, when I went through the screenshots, I'm pretty sure I remember that tree being gone. So, that tree may have to get added, uh, get added back in. Otherwise, it's just going to be flowers. But, it's no big deal, though. But, yeah, so, I really love the gardening in this house, you guys. It, it turns out being really good. Um, as far, I mean, I think it ends up being really good. I don't know I've been I've been making like a lot of like really big houses lately and I think I think that my next house I'm going to try and do a smaller house well no a couple houses ago I made that ranch house and it was pretty you know average sized it wasn't like huge so I don't know maybe I'll try and make like a more traditional like small house I don't know we'll see I don't have any ideas yet of what my next house build is going to be, but I will probably start um, probably within the next couple days, so I'll figure it out as I'm going. But yeah, so um, this is a little like backyard area that I made. Um, I don't know really where the idea came from I just like randomly started plopping stuff down and this is how it ended up uh, turning out um, so yeah but I think it turned out really good I like surrounded most of it with um, plants that blended in with the uh, world and yeah I think it turned out really good I'm just going to add a few more little things here to make it look nice and pretty. And then I'm like, oh, this would look... Yeah, let me just put rocks around here and take another, like, five to six minutes to do this. It didn't take that long. It only took probably, like, two minutes, but... That one didn't take as long. But, yeah, I think I'm just about done with the gardening. Oh yeah, I add that in. Yeah, I just keep adding stuff. But yeah, I would really love to live in this house. The interior, the layout is like so neat. Um, I had this idea of this thing right here, um, which is like a middle, like this room. I don't know, but it's like uh, where you go upstairs. And, oh yeah, the roof popping through. That's just like the best ever when the roof pops through like that. So yeah, I had to move that roof back and it turned out like being, it, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, but 
I'm just talking to myself. All right, so now I have to go in, and since that column would not place right right there, I had to move some of the plants just a little bit so that would so that it would quit deleting. Like it just like would randomly like delete. I hate that. I hate how this game does that. Um, but yeah, I don't think that anything in the house is missing as of right now. When I went in to do the screenshots, I'm pretty sure that everything is supposed to be there. The only thing that I noticed that was missing was that tree in the backyard. So hopefully, hopefully that'll be the only thing missing. I'm hoping. Alright, so this is the front foyer area. That's the little dining room area. Um, this is the living room. It's a very large living room, as you can tell. Um, this, this is that little, uh, that room that I was talking about. And this is the kitchen and the little, like, uh, breakfast nook area. Like the breakfast area. I don't know. Uh, two bathrooms downstairs and, um, a guest bedroom downstairs. Uh, this is upstairs. This is the master bedroom and the master bathroom, which is huge. This is the upstairs bathroom, and then this w or was originally going to be one room, but I, I end up making that into two bedrooms. Two kids' rooms. And I make the hallway a little bit thinner up there, as you can see right there. Yep. And then there's that little uh, nook area that ends up being the little art space, the artsy space. So yeah. All right, now I'm going in and putting in all the doors, like so. Uh, yeah, that's downstairs, okay. I was like, wait, where am I at? Got lost there for a minute. All right, and that's, yeah, I decided to put them columns back there. Um, oh, well, because every time, like, for some reason, they end up, like, moving. When you're making a room, They the columns, if they're outside of the house, they'll move, and they'll be, like, showing on the inside of the house. So then all you got to do is click them again, and they will disappear. Well, they won't disappear, but they'll go out, back outside like they're supposed to be. So it's a pain in the butt, though. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start on the furnishing. Um, this is the dining room area. Um, it's right off of the uh, front entrance foyer. Um, it's just a small dining room. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And then I'm like, these windows are way too low. So I go in and add them, or not add them, but bump them up a notch because I don't like them being like super low to the floor like that. Now I'm going to go in and pick out which curtains I want basically. I didn't really know which curtains I wanted so I don't know. But yeah I think that I'm going to get off of here for now you guys and let you guys um, watch the rest of this video um, with some music. Um, I really hope you guys like this house. Please let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I, I truly, truly, truly appreciate every comment, every like, everything that you guys always post. I always respond to. And thank you guys so much. It means so much to me. So please, if you guys don't subscribe, you guys should definitely subscribe for Daily Sims 4 videos mostly house building videos and furnishing videos and stuff like that so don't forget to subscribe for daily sims 4 videos and thank you guys so much for watching have a good day <laughs>